We do got some salt down here, though, that we can hit. And it appears salt does count. We're just going to clear this place out. Come on. Oh, he's at half. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to Ark, where today... We're going to be... Oh, that's the wrong button. We're going to be taming a fast Losukas. I was trying to pull out the TNT. But yeah, we finally got one that's a 150 that it spawned in. So I'm going to quickly pull him up here on my uh, Dino Finder if he wants to fast. Hello. Who do we got? Okay, we got the 190 and the 150. Okay. I just did a wi Dino Wipe about 10 minutes ago. This guy finally spawned in. He's a nice one that actually has some stats I would like. On the fast slow, if I remember correctly, it, it's either 34 or 35. I might be off by one in health. Alright? Now this dude, or gal, sorry, I always call them dudes for some reason. This gal should be pretty decent once we get her tamed up. I'm hoping that she at least hits upper 40s. At best, hit 60. You know? That's what I'm hoping for. Like... I know getting 60 might be iffy, but yeah. Also, this is what I love about single player as well. I can just do keep doing dino wipes until I get a good 150 to spawn in. I know on servers as well, like if you're not the admin, you really don't have control over the dino wipes. I do understand you can automate them, but like, again, still, the most you can do, like, as a, like a normal player that does not have access to the console commands at all. Like, the most you can do to actually control what creatures spawn is by actually manually going out and killing them all. Like, you actually have to go out and kill all the low-level ones and all that. And I mean, I've done that as well, but I've also noticed when I do that, uh, the it allows some other like species to come in and take over for them. So they, like, start covering, uh, like, the actual areas where those things would spawn. And then eventually you get high levels of those ones. And then low levels of the ones that you wanted to... Or, or well... Yeah, you'd get high levels of those ones. And then other high levels of the ones you'd want. but Because the ones that you didn't want were higher level. And they've also, uh... Probably a bigger creature. And there's more of them. It is allowing them to, uh... You know, kill the other ones, that, the ones you're wanting to tame. So the way we go about taming a fast low, it's kind of like the concavenator, okay? You gotta blast them. I, I, I feel like we got close enough. There we go. Ride. Okay, now what we do is try and not hit the cliff, but we hit the rocks. Cray. Okay. Let's head down here. We'll get these rocks. We got a lot of stuff in, but... Damn it. I didn't think a snake would do it. I don't think that affects my taming effectiveness, does it? I didn't, like, okay, I didn't think hitting the snake would cause me to eject out of the ground. Damn it, and then we have a storm coming in. What is it? It's probably a sandstorm. So he's eating one snake, and the other one's eating his butt. I'm pretty sure this Fasolo should be fine. I don't think we've messed up any sort of the taming effectiveness. Because I think that's just the knockout process. You know? So we're just going to sit here. We're going to watch him. And then uh, once he goes buries himself again, we're going to retry. Okay, he just buried, but he didn't bury the way I was hoping. There we go. Now he is? What is he doing? That's his special attack. Where he kind of like sucks everything in. And then he went after the vulture. 
Okay, I don't know what's going on here. I thought he was going to bury himself. Why did you have to pick right there? He's He picked on the cliff. Next to my tracks. I'm going to land up here. Hit C. We're going to do our best to do this. I don't think it's going to work. I just overshot because I fell down a cliff. And there's a sandstorm. I'm thinking the fast low got distracted by something. He's lost my aggro already. No, he hasn't. Or... You know what we can do? Because he does, does have my aggro. He's eating something. We're going to have to deal with that sandstorm, and I actually do have cover nearby I can go hop in and wait this out. Hopefully. Come on. Uh, let's get over there. Okay, Phoenix. Ooh, let's get you. Okay, yeah, now I gotta get over here. You know what? I just realized as well. This is not gonna let me uh, pop up on it because it doesn't have a car attached. So I'm gonna actually have to do the. Th Ooh, gonna have to use my Phoenix to launch myself up. So we go. Boom, yep, there we go. S Stella, you should be fine. I'm just gonna use this for cover. So that way I'm not constantly, you know. Getting hit by sandstorm. And boom. Now it's secure. That's why I love my train cars. Because the way that they were built, they actually work. And this is all Adobe, so it insulated. It's insulated as well. It's the same here with this car. But this one actually is not, like, covered. This was supposed to be a creature storage car. But it's too small. It's like a small creature car. Okay, sandstorm is now over. We're gonna go and check the fast low. See if he's buried himself in a better spot. Or if he's tor decided to tear down my uh, train tracks yet. He's eating the bug. Who's winning? Fastlo. Absolutely. Like he ripped that thing apart. So it doesn't look like he's buried. And we already know that. So we're going to wait. Once again, hopefully he buries himself out here in the, like, the sand flats. So, like, not up on a cliff. Okay, we could not have asked for a better way for this. So, cryopod again. Okay. We got this. So don't hit creatures, don't hit structures, don't go off cliffs. That's what I've been told. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Go. Why are you going straight down the track? Let's go up here to these rocks. This looks better, my man. Oh, look at that control drop. Oh no. Does it reset when I hit rocks? Yes, I did. So the more rocks I try and hit, let's turn around. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Oh no. Oh, oh, okay. I guess we can kind of clip cliffs, or at least hit shallow ones. Don't hit like actual full blown cliffs, I'm guessing. Look at, oh my. Look at my torpidity go up. Oh no. This might take a while. This might take, <laughs> this might take an hour just to knock out. Like, okay, it doesn't look like trees do torpor. I have to hit a lot of rocks. Go 
Can we quit playing on the cliffs here, F Fasolo? Please? He's caught on a cliff. Yep, that's why they stay, stay away from the cliffs. Stella might have caught him on fire. Ah, oh, that was... A 150 is going to be pretty hard. Jeez. I got to get, like, him out in the desert. Or at least away from... He's still aggro. Damn. Okay, I just, like, shot myself up into the sky. Did you lose my aggro, please? Now it's a super heat. I gotta wait for him to bury again. Okay. Let's do this. Fourth time is the charm. Okay, I guess let's go over here. I'm legit, like, forcing... You really don't got control over where he goes. I will say that. No, no, let's see, legit. Like, he pulls himself into the cliffs. Wait, did he not? Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here. You can kind of tell. I just watched a video and it quite literally says just steer him into rocks. But there's no rocks out in the desert where it's clear. Or there is. I'm just going to have to hop in between. Okay. I might be able to do it. Maybe. But it's if I, like, here's the thing. I have to hit certain rocks without getting like, dived off a cliff or into something. So, I gotta wait for him to bury again. Oh my, he picked a perfect spot to bury. Yeah. He's gonna go straight into a cliff, watch. I'm gonna legit hop on his back. And he's go straight for the cliff. That's exactly what he's gonna do. No, 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 no. See? Look it. No, oh my. No, no. He's got me pinned. Are you, like, legit? That was the stupidest place. He went straight into the rocks. I hit one. Then, boom, he turned right back into that little corner. You gotta just don't get near those. And he's in the worst place Okay, he's picked a better spot, but I don't know about how close to a rock I would be. Could hit that one, then... Ooh. Because all the rocks I need are over there. In... Okay, he still has Torpor, which is nice. Let's go this way. Watch that control. Okay. Get up here. I'm gonna hit that rock. Okay, there's another Fasolo right there. Okay. Now, I gotta kinda push my limits on my control. We gotta go in between my tracks here. Hopefully this does not... <gasps> yeah, that did exactly what I was hoping it wouldn't. Hold up. He still technically is getting Torpor. Now, he's actually over in a spot I'm pretty sure that would be better. Because look at all the rocks... No cliffs. We could do this here. I believe it. We just now gotta lose his aggro and wait for him to rebury. Trust me. I feel like we got him in a really good spot. Except now he's wandering. 
those vultures are going to drag him up by the cliffs. Actually, even if he's still over in this area, that's still pretty good. I'm pretty sure every single rock over here is breakable. Okay, hopefully this one is my last go at him. I have like one C4 left. Or I have two. Then I will actually have to run back to base, get more C4. What? That actually kind of conf confused me there. We're getting a huge chunk of Torpor here. So it appears you absolutely have to hit rocks to get the Torpor. The trees do not do it. Guess you can also hit the salt. Like, I guess just, yeah. Hit things that are rocks breakable. I wonder if metal nodes do better than normal rocks. Okay. Let's kind of go over here. That rock there is definitely not breakable. Okay, it looks like bones count too. Jeez, I didn't know that. We're really just ripping through this area. So what I'm going to do... Is just so that way my video doesn't run on forever. Is I'm gonna pause the vi like re actual recording. Oh, that's a cliff! That's a cliff! Get away! Get away! No! 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 It's quite literally forcing me into it. Oh, okay. Let's get away from this area. I'm not liking it, and it's quite literally forcing me deeper into it. I don't want to be here. Please, turn. Thank you. I want to go up here. We're going to go back over here a bit, just so that way, you know, I got a little bit of a buffer in between me and those cliffs. We actually got another thing of cliffs right here to our left, geez. Okay, I'm going to pause the recording for a bit. Oh, right after I paused, guess what it did? We did pretty good, though. We got a lot of Torpor on him. That was actually a good chunk of Torpor. I think we can do this. Okay, I got me some more charges. We're back. We're ready to pop this guy out of the ground. Get in your crowd, bud. Your Torpor is still good. Let's go. Why? No, you legit, like, had every other direction to go. And I, like, that wasn't even where I was controlling you to go. You went directly into that for no other reason. That was so dumb. I'm really hoping this doesn't affect the taming effectiveness. Like, yeah, this is actually going to, like, starting to become, ir like, irritating. If my tracks weren't here, it'd be fine. What I want to do is actually kind of get him up and over and out there, and maybe. But, yeah, I don't know how that's going to go. I'm not joking. He legit was facing that when he buried in. 
I'm going to hop on him and he's going to run right into it. I'm not joking. That's exactly what's going to happen. I already know what's going to happen. Because I feel like this is going to... This is going to mess up immediately. Like, it's going to fail immediately. Well, why can't I put down a C4? Jesus. That's like the fifth time that's happened in a row. Oh, look at that. For once, he actually is not facing, like, into something that's going to... He's going to, like, you know, not be able to go through. I'm, like, you know, just irritated. This is one of the weirdest taming mechanics ever, and it's... It's taking forever on a 150. It just has so much torpor, and it's so dumb. I wonder if I should have uh, gotten something to alter the torpor. You know, at least a... Because I did see a couple mods that altered the torpor for, like, single player. But I really wanted to do this, you know, just pure vanilla experience trying to tame a Fasolo. You know? I just wanted that. I wanted to have the experience of, uh, you know having to do all the torpor and I've honestly fully lost control of this guy I have no control over him right now like because he keeps on doing the turns and he hits a rock and then I hit, it's another rock then he hits another rock then he hits another rock it's legit just like a chain reaction of uh, you know stuff is that rock is that skull counting for multiple I don't think it is I think I should probably really quit hitting it. It's going to turn me into the cliff and I'm going to get stuck. Okay. We we surprisingly did not get stuck. Going to hit these. Don't hit the buildings. Thank you. Turn that way. Kind of just kind of going where we're going to have more rocks and a bit more open area. We're going to hit all these. Look at this. That, that big rock there on the right, though, definitely I can get stuck on. And that's exactly where he went. Yep. We're going to lose his aggro. It's going to be fine. This is actually doing really good. Okay, let's do this. I don't know why I keep on crouching. I feel like I've already done this so many times. I know he's not going to pop up on me. But it's still that feeling that there's still that always... It could still always be the first time he's ever done it to me. You know? And we're going to hit these rocks. And we're going to boom, push right, push right. Thank you. We're going to head over here. Let's head over here. Come on, buddy. Look at that control drop drastically. Damn. Maybe I didn't want to go out here. Like, that's a lot of rocks. But that's still not as many as that were over in that one spot. We cleared that out, though. And it did quite a bit of torpor for us. But I was hoping we would get a lot more out of it. Seriously. We do got some salt down here, though, that we can hit. And it appears salt does count. We're just going to clear this place out. Come on. Oh, he's at half. So, it look. wait, hold up. It looks like when we hit multiple in a row, it does more torpor. Yeah, absolutely. And then let's hit this. And let's go up here. I know there's there's still a rock up here. There's absolutely. See it? Yep, there it is. That's gonna give us some more control back. Boom. At least enough to get over to this one. And for us to hit the rocks over here. If there's still any left. Hopefully it doesn't steer me directly into a building. As I said directly into a building okay let's go over here we're gonna hit these rocks it just seems like if we get you know like boom boom multiple it gets a lot more torpor it seemed hold up it seemed like salt was doing a lot i wish i knew where that where there was more salt you know because then i could just go directly there we could hit the deposit 
and it would hopefully, you know, do everything that we would need for the Torpor. Like right now, I have currently fully lost control of him, damn. And that happens a lot, like when you're hitting these. Oh look, there's a Thorax Spider! Didn't expect to see one of those out here. You, I honestly didn't. And it looks like we are at least halfway now on the Torpor, which I'm feeling lucky on. Oh, I should not come to these rocks. Half of these do not look like they're even close to breakable. Yep, this is the one that I knew I was going to have. Oh, we're kind of, oh, we're kind of like just skimming. Oh, this is the one I knew it was going to happen. We're stuck. We're stuck-ish. I don't know what's happening. We're getting just, we're getting sucked in. I don't want to go down here. Let me out. Or maybe I do. Look at how much torpor we're getting just from this area. Like, it's just sucking us in and then... Oop, this is... Yep. Let me throw my guy out, please. Stella, take off. Ah! He's right there. Alright, I don't want to burn him, so... Uh, should not have done that. Let's go up. We'll just lose his aggro again. We're doing pretty good. I need to take a drink, finally. And then we'll do that. But, like... That actually did us really good on Torpor. I will not lie. At all. That was doing ultra good. And you know what I should do? No taming in progress? I guess he doesn't count because he's like being knocked out. Can I track him with uh, Tech Binox? I can see his Torpor. It's dropping. But I gotta wait for him to bury. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drop the deer dino finder. We're just gonna clear that out. And I've seen a lot more Fasolo Sukas spawn in since we've been hanging out around here. So, I think we just got lucky with this gal spawning in. Okay, so I've probably been at this actually now for about 45 minutes. And I really gotta go pee. But, like... I think I'm going to do one more round of, like, you know, getting rocks on him. You know, just so that way we can uh, say that we did. And, like, we can actually see the Torpor go up. Look at that. Like, now that we're tracking it, we can see our Torpor going up. So we need another 6,000 Torpor. And every time... Look, at, as soon as we're not hitting a rock, it's going down. And boom. Of course, let's try and not hit the snake. Because that, you know, as we saw, that forced us out of the ground last time. Okay, um, I don't know if I want to go down here again. Last time we got kicked off. Maybe let's just kind of skim these rocks over here. This looks breakable, I might be wrong. A whole lot of them breakable. Alright, that one luckily I kind of went four-wheel drive on. I'm, I've honestly lost control of the Fasolo again. This is an out-of-control Fasolo. Like, as of right now, I am not in control of this, this vehicle. Like, it is out of control. Oh, okay. You know what we can probably do here? I don't want to burn him, but we can go see if there's any salt deposits nearby. And he'll chase me. He'll chase me to him. That's the nice thing. So, are there any? Like, I imagine where the grass is, that's where gonna be where the salt is. But, oh, I, I went, oh, I went too far. I went too far. I need my fat, I like, yeah, if you go too far with the Binoc Tech Monox. You'll actually lose a uh, tracking on your creator. So, do keep that in mind. Um, yeah.
I gotta explain something here. I don't know when my footage stopped recording and I finally got my fast alone knocked the hell out. Um, I'm just pissed because I, I thought I was like sitting over here looking at like, oh, your video's at 40 minutes. And then I like cut back and it says it stopped. Then I go look at the video and it's more like the last 10 minutes froze and it's like one solid screen. It's yeah. Luckily everything's working now and we got this gal knocked the hell out. So I finally broke the last rock over here and she dropped like a bag of potatoes. What I think I'm going to do here is because we got the time to do it. Her torpor is not dropping like drastically and I can always run and go get me some narcotics and all that. We're just going to kind of take a uh, star Stella. Sorry, I keep on calling her Starla. Stella and we're gonna kind of just like float right here and hopefully this man is perfectly fine where he's laying so I'm sitting here I'm still waiting for him to starve down I just did a quick save of the game because uh, I have noticed with something tumbleweeds do cause problems and oh that poor thorax spider there's another uh Thessalo nearby there's been a couple of them popping up I'm hoping if I I'm thinking that's what my problem was, is that I wasn't, like, actually, like, chilling in the desert long enough. I was kind of just, like, chilling over more by, like, Blue Wah, where there was water and, like, you know. So I think I need to, like, come out more into the desert and hang out. Because now that I've noticed it, there's a lot more Fastlow spawning in. Okay, I probably let him starve down way more than I needed to. He's down by, like, 500. So what we're going to do here is, boom. One two he's gonna tame up he's done we got him we got her to be exact oh this thing took forever and you know what in all fairness i'm honestly just gonna go for a fast low with some melee now even though she even almost got 40 in melee i'm glad she did get the upper uh upper 40s in health like i wanted the stamina, I'm not too worried about. That's I'm kind of coming to that decision with every creature except flyers. So flyers are going to be the only creatures now that I start breeding a stamina into. Besides a creature, like say if it's a got a special ability that requires stamina. Of course, yes, I'm going to try and breed some stamina into it, but not like overly too many points. Because I feel like I do got like a certain amount of uh, cre like points I can have on a creature, you know? But yeah, this fast low took forever and I kind of, uh, I kind of still want to go like pop a saddle on it and test it out. I'm just irritated that I lost footage again. I thought I'd, all right. So originally it was a problem where, uh, like just my, like I, it wasn't like enough in that. This was the old problem on the old computer. This problem I'm thinking I'm starting to have again on the new one here it's where like the memory would run out like and it's uh not the memory sorry I at least I think that might be what it is but it's it's the GPU memory and it says something about the like GPU getting caught up like that's what the warning says and like it's like something that's caught up and I've tried other stuff to fix it and it was fixed in the past and now ever since Scorched Earth came back out it's like it's back you know, and it's just irritating. Also, I know I keep on like entering jet mode, then canceling it, then entering it, then canceling it, and then entering it, and then canceling it. It's just I can't figure out how I want to fly. Also, this thing has so many like flames shooting off of it, it is a little laggy. I was planning on breeding up some of the poison wyverns just to get them out of the way. I mean, I've even moved my rock golems over here just so that way they're out of the way. And also, if you're wondering what the stats is, stats is on these. This is what we got. They turned out really nice. Fastlo, you can uh, you can chill over here with all these guys. Starting to get some bigger creatures, you know. And you know what? I most certainly am gonna go get a saddle for you here real quick. So I'm not even gonna bother trying to craft one for him right now, just because we're gonna do tests on the video. Once I get the other one bred up, of course, I will craft two primitive ones for the breeding pair. I just want to test this thing. I haven't got it. Honestly, the only creature I looked into out of the new ones was the Oasisaur. Because I just was fascinated by it more. 
I wasn't really into the Fasolosuchus. I will be full honest with you guys there. But, like, you know what he reminds me of? A 10-ton iguana. You know? This thing looks like an iguana to me. I, kn I know a lot of people say, like, it is a crocodilian. I understand that's what it is. Like, that's what the species is meant to be, is a crocodilian. Um, but, like, this thing... <laughs> This thing looks like a look, looks like an iguana. All right. Does it have a jump? Oh no, it has a berry. I am I don't know why I thought it would jump. But if I hit space it buries itself. And then of course. Oh, look at that. Look at how good this thing is for flint. Damn. I mean, if you guys need to get like spark powder quick, I mean, that's one way to get the flint for it. Bust out the dodic, get the stone, you know? Mmm. Damn, that'd actually be probably a the, one of the good, best ways to get flint, honestly, if that's all you're looking for, is just use a fastalo to swim through it. That seemed like we get a lot there. Okay, so, C, nothing, space is my berry. Okay, and then, boom, he digs himself back out. Control, alt, left click is a bite. Right click, tail swipe. How do I do the you know, circle of death. Oh, okay. Hold up. I just noticed that. There's a special attack for once you're underground. So, if I hit left click, he pounces. Boom. Like, he actually has a full-on pounce. Now, if I go back underground and I hit right click, does that... That builds the tornado. Okay. And that, of course, is going to suck any creature in. And then whatever's in the... Immobilize. And then, boom. He comes up. Is he dizzy? It looked like he was dizzy. But, yeah. That looks like how that works. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. His kibble... Like, the kibbles that his eggs make is the superior. So, he makes the same as the thorax spiders here. And, yes, they are wet... Bleh. They are laying eggs. I got one right here. Thorax spider egg. Now, it's not as many as the Camelosaurus and all that, but you also got to remember, these guys have been up for about two more days than he has. And, again, the fire wyverns, the reason why you're not seeing any of those eggs is that I'm pretty sure if they're unfertilized, they're extremely rare. Also, when I need extraordinary kibble, this is just what I do. You know? And then they're going to all lay... I'm going to get five eggs out of it. And then I can go make five extraordinary kibble with it, you know? That's that's the best process I have for it. Now, of course, you can make a smaller farm. Um, the guy that made my phoenix, the my the breedable phoenixes, the guy that made that mod, um, he is planning on making it so that way when they lay eggs, they're like they're gonna drop unfertilized, and they're gonna drop them for uh, exceptional or you know extraordinary kibble. But I'm not too sure about that because you know. Eh, it could go either way. And also, these guys drop a lot of silk. Like, an extraordinary amount of silk. And then, of course, you got this guy, the male one, just pooping uh, silk right down here in the middle. Confuse me. But, anyways, guys, that's going to probably be it for this episode. So if you have found yourself at any point liking it, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys get notifications on when I post. And one more last thing, if you guys have already been subscribed, or you guys just want to go above and beyond being a subscriber, I am currently running a membership goal. Now that membership goal is we are currently trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. Once we reach that goal, we will be opening up an ARC server. And I'm not 100% sure on if we're going to make it like Discord, like public to the Discord. But I know that like absolutely 100%, no matter what the... The memberships will have access to it because of course you're you're like you know you're the guys that are signing up to meet that goal so yeah absolutely you guys will get immediate access to it as soon as, as soon as it's ready to go you know but yeah anyways this has been Gunchai Morai signing off peace <laughs>